All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make an HTTP request in Bash. Now let me stop you right there, because I'm afraid what you may have heard me say is I'm gonna show you how to use curl to make a web request for you. That is not what I said. I said that I'm gonna show you how to use it in Bash. Okay, you ready for this? We're gonna do it in Bash. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta make a script. So let's call this, I don't know, HTTP request. How's that? All right, here we go. New empty file, new script. Let's do user bin env bash. And there we go. Now we're ready. We have what looks like a bash script. So open it up, now we have syntax highlighting, awesome. So what's the first thing we do? We need to actually open a socket to the web server that we're gonna be connecting to. So in my curl example, you can see that we used ysap.davidday.com. So let's do that here. Let's open up a new file descriptor. We'll open up file descriptor three because that's the first one that's available. We're gonna open it up for reading and writing and we're gonna use dev tcp ysap.davedy.com, that's the host and 80, that's the port, we're going over HTTP. All right, now how does this work? We're gonna be speaking HTTP, so how does this work? This is a hypertext protocol. This is a text protocol. So we need to send it text, and then it will send us back text. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what are we gonna send it? Well, let's make a new array, and we're going to put a bunch of lines in here that we're gonna send it. So new line separated data, or I'm spoiling it, but curl if separated data. So what's the first line look like? The verb, we're gonna get it. The location, the endpoint, the URI, slash ping, that's what we're gonna hit, and then the version of HTTP we're gonna use. So we're gonna use 1.1. .1. All right, cool, that's our first line, really simple. What's the next line? These are our headers. So headers are colon separated, so we'll do a host, ysap.davedy.com. Awesome, what's the next header? Well, we'll do connection close, and this lets the server know that once we're done, we can close the connection, we don't need to keep it open, we're not gonna do multiple requests over the same socket, we're just gonna do one request. And then we're gonna put an empty line here. I'll get to that in a second, okay? So what do we do? Well, we have this data now. Now we need to actually write it to the server. How do we do that? Well, first thing we do is we format it. So we'll do percent %s, and then we're gonna do backslash r, backslash n. This is curlif, or carriage return line fee. That's what I'm saying, C-R-L-F. So we're going to expand lines. We're gonna use the array notation to do this, and this will break it on carriage returns and new lines. So we'll get the first line up here with a carriage return new line. The next line over here, carriage return new line, a carriage return new line, and then we'll have a carriage return new line. So we'll have two carriage return new lines at the end. In HTTP, that's how we signify that we're done with the request and we're ready for the response to start coming in. Where do we do? Where do we write this to? We write this to file descriptor three. That's the socket that we opened, awesome. So now what do we have to do? We have to read the data from the server. So we can do read-r data, that'll be the name of the variable, and we'll read that in from file descriptor three. And now we'll have a variable called data where we can say echo got server data, I don't know what's called that, dollar data. The problem with this is the read built-in only reads one line at a time and we're gonna get multiple lines back. So how do we deal with this? We put it in a while loop. While read, do, move this up here, done, and there we go. So this should print all of the data as it comes in and becomes available. And the last thing we should do is because we're being good, we should close the file descriptor. So we're gonna write it to ampersand hyphen. This will close the file descriptor. So let's quit out of that, chmod plus exit and run. And what do we get? There we go. Hey, look at this, got server data. This came back from the server. We got a 200 okay from Nginx. This is the data on the remote server, blah, 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 pong. So there you go. That is how to make an HTTP request in Bash.